We've got our scores for match number 26. It is a blue alliance victory. Keep in mind the colors are inverted on the projector screen. Blue Alliance takes home the win, 221 to 155. So like we said, a bit of an odd turn from our projector, but we have some of the best of the best here. We'll get this figured out and we'll help you out along the way. Those of you watching online on our stream, everything should be looking just fine for you. But once again, the winner of qualification match number 26, the Blue Alliance, with a score of 221 to 155. Now over here on field number one, we are preparing for qualification match 28, our last match before a brief break. But again, we do want our competitors in qualification matches 29 and 30 to still queue up. Let's meet our match 28 competitors, starting with the Red Alliance, where we have team 10836. It's Stemperfy. And their partners, 14360. Sprockets and Screws. On our Blue Alliance, we have team 18183. It's Rounded Cube. And their partners, 3507. Robotheosis. And we have the all clear qualification match number 28 in three, two, one, go! Right away, our robots taking off. Stemper Fi now on the back side of the field for the Red Alliance, still with their cone in hand. Looks like their priority was parking. Unfortunately, on the front side of the field, we see Robotheosis knock over their stack of cones. Fortunately, interfering maybe a little bit with sprockets and screws, so they're not quite going to get their cone either. Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. And now into driver control. Those cones on the front side of the field going to be a little bit of an extra hazard for these robots to have to navigate around but they've still got cones they can receive from the substations on the side of the field to score most of their points. We also have the stacks on the back side of the field, which we see Stemperfy going for right now, picking up one red cone there, sprockets and screws on the front side of the field for red, placing a red cone on that ground junction. 18183, rounded cube, now with a blue cone in their possession. Setting the Blue Alliance up for a circuit. Trying to get that lined up early. A lot of junctions claimed already. Blue kind of with a line across the field. Red a little more concentrated on the front side of the field. Once again, those ownership points at the end of the match, three points for each junction that are owned. So it can add up really quickly. Robotheosis now grabbing a blue cone. Navigating to the center of the field. We'll see where they decide to head with that. They do use their lift to place it onto the low junction there. Connecting up their line. Blue currently with a circuit on the field. Red not quite. We'll see if that's even what these teams are going for. Just three seconds now to end game. And here we go. Beacons now entering the field. Stemperfy with the first one grabbed. We'll see if Sprockets and Screws can get theirs as well. They do have it in hand. On the blue side, we don't see any beacons being scored yet, both of them laying over. Having two beacons could be a huge advantage for Red here as Red does lock down some of those central junctions. Three, two, one.
And here